What's going on guys, Tmart here, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys everything that you need to know about Exo Survival. So I was lucky enough to be invited out to Sledgehammer Games just a couple of weeks ago. I was able to get a tour of the studio, talk to a bunch of the devs, and get some hands-on time with the game, both in multiplayer as well as in the new co-op mode. So I wanted to make a video telling you guys everything that I learned and everything you need to know before you hop into Exo Survival and Advanced Warfare. So uh, starting off from the top here, let's talk about maps. Exo Survival is played on the exact same multiplayer maps you would play matchmaking or private match or you know anything else on. You know, they aren't changed in any way, it's the exact same multiplayer maps, and they're split up into groups. So when you first enter the mode, you have four maps unlocked, and then there are three other tiers of groups of maps that you need to unlock by completing 50, 75, and 100 rounds. So as you complete rounds on the maps, you will unlock new tiers of maps and kind of work your way up through there. Now when you first spawn in on a map, you have a choice of three different exotypes, which are basically your class. It's going to determine how your game is played. So first up, there's light. Uh, it gives you the fastest movement speed as well as a full range of exo abilities, but you have the lowest amount of armor, aka the lowest health. Uh, for with this class, you can choose SMGs and assault rifles as your weapon. You can you know go in game and, and purchase different types. I'll tell you guys about that in a second. And then finally, you start off with the UAV as your score streak, but you can also upgrade that later. Now the second exo type or class type is going to be your heavy. So this gives you the slowest movement and limited boost abilities, but the highest armor. So you're going to be a tank. You'll be able to take a a lot of damage. Uh, it's got high damage heavy weapons as the uh, the primaries you can use and then it's also got the XS1 Goliath, the big mech suit as its score streak. And then finally the last one you have is Specialist, which gives you normal movement, limited boost abilities, normal armor, and then you got shotguns and snipers to choose from, as well as the sentry gun class score streak. So you can see, you know, if you're going in with a group of friends, you want to kind of mix it up here. You guys want to be working with different stuff because some stuff is great for, you know, taking on certain types of enemies. Other stuff is great for, you know, taking on objectives or things like that. So you want to mix it up. If you're playing by yourself, I would probably recommend Light. This was by far my favorite one. A, because you can't go wrong with ARs and SMGs, as well as you can actually upgrade your armor in the game. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, anyway, so as for the gameplay, what's going on? Basically, you defeat enemies to complete rounds. We aren't new to this. We've seen it in all the previous Call of Duty games, whether it's zombies or spec ops or whatever it is. As each round passes, the enemies are going to get stronger, and they've got everything from normal soldiers to dogs, like Dobermans that come at you, uh, to drones, to huge, huge guys in mech suits, you know, all kinds of craziness. You never really know what to expect. And, you know, all of them are, are like exo-soldiers, so they're all jumping around like crazy and coming off of buildings, and it gets really, really intense. It's a lot of fun. Now, uh, how do you upgrade your soldier well uh, at the very start of every round it gives you like a about a 45 second kind of like intermission period so you finish around you defeat all the enemies and you got like 45 seconds of a transition period and it gives you two upgrade points during that time and you can save those up so you can get like you know, multiple upgrade points or you can spin them right away you can do it however you want to do it and then there are three stations around the map one is for your arsenal one is for your exo and then the other one is for your score streak so under the arsenal upgrades you can do these things you can change your weapon apply weapon optics apply weapon attachments change your exo launcher projectiles so you can change it to like you know variable grenades or sticky grenades or the spike ball whatever you want and then you can also refill your ammo there which costs a point now uh, the second station you have is your exo upgrade station so here you can change your exo class so like if you started off with heavy and you decide you want to go to light you can change that it's not going to penalize you you can also change your exo stats so you can add weapon proficiencies which when you upgrade this it increases your weapon damage fire rate and or spread and then as your gun gets better and better and higher and higher upgraded it also changes your camo so you start off with like you know basic woodland and digital camos and then you move up into the cooler camos like carbon fiber and stuff like that as you get towards the highest level so that's pretty cool. Now also, you can upgrade your armor, which decreases the amount of damage that you take. So, you know, obviously you can take more shots. That's really important, especially as a light soldier. And then finally, you can increase your exo ability. So like if you have hover, it's going to allow you to hover longer. If you have invisibility on, it's going to allow you to stay invisible longer. And that's actually really useful because invisibility in this, the enemy soldiers and stuff, they can't see you at all. It's really, really cool. So like if you're trying to do an objective or revive a teammate or whatever, that's super useful. So uh, yeah, that's the exo upgrade station. Then finally, you've got your scores streak upgrade where you can change if you want a UAV you can get that if you want the XS1 Vulcan you can get that if you want the you know mech suit you can get that you know all the other stuff so you can choose whatever score streak you want you just have to pay for it now uh, another kind of like little 
objective type deal that you have going on here is your support drop bar. So there's a support drop bar kind of up towards the, the top left part of the screen that fills up as you defeat enemies, as you complete objectives, earn any type of XP. And when it's all the way full, it will send down a, a care package for one of each of the players on, on the you know map. And then you can go up to that and it's going to give you random score streaks and random perks. It's kind of completely random. It's just you know chance there. And, uh, and obviously that's going to help you out a lot, especially the perks because those perks stay with you for uh, for the rest of the round or, or the rest of the game like they'll, they'll never go away now uh, also there are actual like literal objectives to get you up and moving around so uh, apart from you know just trying to stay alive there are going to be things on certain rounds where it's like you know get uh, you know kills inside of a hard point or collect dog tags around the map or collect intel or defuse bombs or things like that and, and then, you know if you do these things Doing the objectives gets you a lot of XP and really helps you out with your support drop bar. But uh, also, if you don't do them, that's where it's like even a, a bigger thing because there are really bad punishments. Like, uh, sometimes it'll spawn turrets all over the map. Like, there'll be like 15 turrets spawned on the map that start shooting at you. It's crazy. Uh, sometimes there's drone swarms with drones that'll try to blow you up. Uh, the weapon jamming one is awful. The weapon jamming one makes it so you can't use your primary weapon for like 30 seconds into the next round so you have to use pistol only it's really really bad and there's also other ones where it's like smoke has popped all around the map and stuff that aren't quite as bad but uh, yeah you want to do those challenges and those objectives not only because they reward you but also because you don't want to get punished so uh, you know that's the deal there and then the final question is how do you win you can't the rounds are unlimited you will never ever ever win in fact when you first spawn and he's like uh, you know you're stranded out there and help is not on the way stay alive as long as you can or something like that like it's kind of intense so uh, yeah the rounds are unlimited however it does kind of like flip I guess I'm gonna call it so after you complete round 25 the map is just gonna kind of reset itself you don't lose your weapon or any your upgrades or anything you've worked on but uh, it kind of says that like oh you've made it to this flip it's gonna restart back from the beginning except the enemies are gonna be harder this time and then you're essentially back on level one but then there's like a little two in the corner of the one to show that it's your second time through and the enemies go back to being pretty weak it's just they will do more damage to you so then you can work your way up through that 25 and then it flips again and you'll have a little three next to your thing and then four five six on and on and on for however long you can go so uh, yeah that's uh, that's just how it works so a uh, boom there you guys have it that's pretty much everything you need to know about exo survival in call of duty advanced warfare hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this helped you out and cleared it up for you guys it's actually a very fun mode i really really enjoyed playing it and and i think you guys Guys should uh, should enjoy it as well once this game comes out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Got a bunch of great videos coming soon. Check out my YouTube screen. Seen yet? And catch you guys later. Peace out.